Walking Dead's getting ready to end, but it doesn't end there. We'll be back with more right after this. I was feeling nostalgic for The Walking Dead hearing that the show's getting ready to end, and I did enjoy the show when it first came out, but what I enjoyed first was, of course, the comic, and I decided to go back and read the comics and, uh, and finish it out. I had actually, uh, the comic had ended a couple of years ago, but, uh, and I knew that, and it was all a big surprise, but I hadn't read those, and I wanted to go back and finish reading it, and I happened to do that. I kind of stopped at All Out War, where they fought with Negan, and uh, once it got into the next bit of story, and they introduced Magna and all those, uh, I was kind of like, what's going on? What's happening? And I know that Robert Kirkman's a big fan of Eric Larson, who uh, wrote Savage Dragon, and he would do these big jumps where he would uh, change time, uh, change the whole universe, in fact, and jump from universe to universe, change the main character. But he would do those things and, and just to keep the book fresh, and I know that's why Kirkman did it, but at the time, I just missed those characters. And it took, going back and reading it, it took about six issues before you finally found the people that you remember uh, in the book. And, and so it was a bit of a jump. It was a bit of a commitment. Um, so I was happy that I read them. And another problem I had was reading the comic while watching the show. And actors would leave, come and go, directors come and go, showrunners come and go. And so they kept changing the story around. They would use the same general stories that Rob, Robert Kirkman wrote, but they would take them and they would uh, put it with different characters, the same general story. But uh, I, So I wanted to read it pure and see what he had written and go that way, and I was happy I did. Uh, now I'm going back and watching the rest of the show. I'd kind of quit once again around All Out War. Uh, so now I'm on season nine. They're getting ready to end with season 11. And uh, uh, tried to watch Fear of the Walking Dead. Never even watched the one about the teenagers. And I'm going to go back and watch those shows now that I'm all done with that. Uh, but uh, just really feeling nostalgic for The Walking Dead and wanted to go back and, and, and look at it and see it from fresh eyes. Uh, the book itself is well worth it. It's the best thing that's out there, uh, the comic book. And, if, and you'll know exactly what Robert Kirkman wanted to do. And it's just great. You need to read it and finish it. It's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, but I was on this nostalgia kick, so I started like, you know, I do thrift. And so I was like, uh, I happened to be at a pawn shop and they just happened to have the first three seasons of The Walking Dead. Now I'm not going back and watch these because I'm tired to watch it on Netflix and uh, going through and watching uh, the current episodes of the ones I'm up to. And uh, so I didn't want to go back and watch them just yet, but I do have those. Uh, I'm sure they'll do some big series ending thing and hopefully they'll put on 4K because none of them have been released in 4K. And yes, these are DVDs and they look a little rough, but to these old eyes, it all looks the same. <laughs> so we'll just say that. But I uh, also happened to pick up uh, the Walking Dead book. They had uh, two, it's the first two books. It's The Rise of the Governor and The Road to Wo Woodbury, talking about the governor. And I have never read any of the books. I know this guy writes them with Robert Kirkman or Kirkman give him some of the stories. It's got Kirkman's name awful big on there. Uh, I don't know how involved he was in Jay Bonsano Wong. -na 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 -na. Yeah, pronounce that three times fast. Anyway, happened to get that for a dollar at a thrift store and just thought that was great. Also happened to pick up Zombie Earl as a, as a bobblehead and a lighter, which I thought was kind of crazy. Uh, Zombie uh, Merle, uh, one thing about Merle and Daryl is Merle and Daryl only exist on the TV show. So I always enjoyed their stories because it was something totally new and it was only for the AMC show. Uh, Robert Kirkman doesn't own Merle or Daryl and uh, they were done in the first episode and uh, once... Uh, Robert Kirkman didn't come and start writing the show until the second year. So I was kind of uh, appreciative of their stories that they had through the show. And Merle was one of my favorite characters. I really liked Merle. I uh, liked uh, Daryl too. But anyway, uh, if you're going to try to find out Adventures of Daryl, they'll never be in the comics because Robert Kirkman doesn't, uh, doesn't own it. It'd have to be an AMC comic. But yeah, I happened to pick up a bobblehead Earl, uh, Merle, Earl, Merle, one of them. And then also... A walking dead lighter but they had like a so many uh kind of crazy things with the that they had there was so much i'm trying to think of any other universe that had as much merchandise 
And the closest thing I can think of is the MCU with all the stuff that's going on with the MCU. Uh, you've had, you know, technically, I think four shows already. They've done like some specials, so that we're looking at five or something. They are talking about maybe having Rick and Michonne come back for something, uh, you know, but then there's going to be some series with uh, Maggie and Negan. Uh, so it's going to be a whole new thing. So Walking Dead continues, man. What can I say? But it's one of my favorite properties. I enjoy uh, watching it, and I kind of got out of out of favor with it, kind of got tired of it at a certain point, and now I'm just going back for the nostalgia and the warm hugs that the zombies give and uh, headed back into it. But anyway, if you like this story, if you, if you want to see more kind of this crazy kind of content, all you got to do is hit like and subscribe and, you know, hitting notifications and uh, hopefully you'll see my videos when they come up. So I, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch me and uh, we'll be back with more. We'll see you later.